And four hours later, Murphy said... Right, he killed the Pakistanis outside the Labour Exchange. He said, Kelly, your mother-in-law's dropped down dead. Oh, fellow, fellow, they must expect it's full of them up there, isn't it? In fact, he went for a job with the forest wickham. He's a great big African fellow. You're black or you're white, it's nice, anyhow. She said to this little Pakistani, now it's your turn. You transgressed the laws of litter as well, Mr. Klein. No gentleman, me. More incorrigible rogue. Don't turn us in, Mr. Khan. Not this time, not again. Have you ever thought of taking up detection? Once or twice. Your mates with the heavy tread said that I was free. I'm sure they added for the time being. Their dialogue seldom varies. Well, nor does their modus operandi. St. Peter himself would have to pull strings to get out of any nick in under two hours flat. And yet me, John Klein, with form for manslaughter, is released after a yes, no in the loo that wouldn't cover the loss of a canary from its cage. Perhaps you have a guardian angel on high. With nothing to do but keep his tash dry. The only reason police released you was because of my request. I believe some things. Like you could turn me in, but get me out. I saw you fight in the river with Rawlinson. Saw you put hands to his throat and hold him beneath the surface till his lungs contained nothing but water. We have shared sorrow together. For you, the concealed murder of a... loved woman. For me, the loss of a colleague. Need I remind you that the men responsible remain unpunished? I don't know. 
You don't know what, Mr. Clark. Revenge. Blood on blood, death on death, on and on. The name of the man who killed Dinah Carmike is Malison. Your partner at the Maverick Knights Club is Dermot McAvoy. Both are key figures in their communities, West Indian, Irish. The Asian community with Mr. Kuldeeps and Mr. Rafiqs, that's my problem. But the white underworld is something else again. For that, I will need your assistance. As what? To assist me in an operation. Corruption is a cancer that has spread through the Midlands. It needs a surgeon to cut it out. I require the initiative. First time since the gate opened, I'm free to raise the readies. It'll take me out of this second city into the first. The problems of the uh, National Elf don't concern me. You intend to take this ready money from the sale of your share in the Maverick Club? Right, yeah, right. Then allow me to offer you a lift, Mr. Klein. I can perhaps develop my prognosis en route. Judge Brian Bush said not long ago that Birmingham is in danger of becoming synonymous with corruption. Even a judge can get it right sometimes. What's this? A crook's tool? Corruption takes many forms. Divulgence of privileged information, abuse of trust. Leaks on council planning can emanate from headquarters of local government, such as you see before you in all its mock Renaissance glory. But corruption, I define as any service, large or small, that commands the payment of a kickback. I combed through what had been gathered in from the spate of corruption trials and hearings during the past years and tried to fathom the iceberg of which, to quote again, only the tip has been revealed. I made little progress until I examined the obvious once again. How were such favors rewarded? 